Making an impressive meal doesn't have to be complicated. Today, we're making a furikake mahi-mahi with roasted kabocha squash that's both simple and delicious. Let's get started. First, we're gonna prepare our squash. The kabocha squash, or Japanese pumpkin, is much like other winter squashes. It's gonna be a little buttery, a little nutty, and add a nice sweet compliment to our fish. Now, also like winter squash, it can be a bit tough to cut, but here, we're gonna use a trick. Just pop it in the microwave for a few minutes, and it'll soften it just a bit. Once our kabocha squash is softened, we're gonna cut it into wedges. First, we're gonna cut it in half and remove the seeds, then make wedges that are about an inch and a half thick. Once we have all our wedges, we're gonna put them in a nice big bowl and toss them with a few tablespoons of olive oil and some salt and pepper until they're nice and coated. We're gonna put these wedges in a 400 degree oven for about 30 minutes. Halfway through, just flip them over. Now that our squash is roasting, we can prepare our fish. And here's where we pull out our secret weapon, the furikake. Furikake is a Japanese rice seasoning that comes in a variety of flavors. Here, we're gonna use norikomi, which is one of the most widely available. Norikomi is a mix of seaweed and sesame seeds that's gonna add color and crunch, and most importantly, umami to our dish. First, top each filet with about one tablespoon of the mayonnaise, then spread it around. Next, sprinkle each filet with about two teaspoons of the furikake, then we'll place the filets in a 400 degree oven for about 20 minutes, or until the internal temperature reaches 145 degrees Fahrenheit. Our mahi-mahi is out of the oven, so all we have to do is plate. We're gonna add a few wedges of our squash, and a filet, and a garnish of green onion. I hope your guests enjoy this just as much as mine do. Let's dig in.